Hi everyone, and my apologies for the long hiatus. Um, it is not for lack of ideas, but simply for lack of time. Um, but today I'm here to talk about, um, in terms of Laban, uh, I would say two things. One is kind of using natural body weight, and the other one is to explore the idea that we play um, sort of partially in different planes, um, sagittal, horizontal, and vertical on the cello. Um, if you want to know more about that, uh, check out the blog on my website, um, but I'll just get started on showing you um, a couple of things relating to natural body weight and the bow arm. So um, a lot of times we find ourselves kind of holding, um, holding ourselves in a certain position and then um, imposing the weight on the cello. And so when I notice that my students are doing that, the first thing that we usually do is um, this quick exercise. Um, we, uh, I have them stand um, and really feel their feet on the ground, even maybe bend their knees a little bit, and then put their arms up over their heads and let them fall. And we do that a couple of times because it can take a little time, excuse me, to, um, to really let yourself go, right? So we do that as many times as it takes. And we notice that the, um, the arms tend to fall uh, just because of the way the, the human body works and the, and the arms are hinged, they fall down and towards you. So um, then we go to the cello and we figure out how we can utilize that. So the first thing um, is to um, try having your student or or you can do this yourself, um, stand up. Um, and I tell my students the only rule here is um, no, uh, you know, being up on your toes. Your, your feet have to be flat on the ground. I actually really like the idea of bending uh, the knees a little bit just because then you're really feeling that connection to the ground. Um, I like to put one, one leg in front of the other so that I can balance the cello while I'm moving my left hand, otherwise you feel kind of tight and having to, <clears throat> excuse me, hold the cello with the left hand. If you want to just hold it with the left hand just for the sake of security, that's fine. Um, practice some open strings. So what we do is we, we um, just let the arm kind of fall onto the cello, and I promise you're not gonna um, hurt the cello by doing this applying your body weight onto the string. Um, and so what we're feeling, instead of the slant that we are usually playing at, I mean, the, the fingerboard uh, slant and the bridge give us um, this trajectory, this projection, um, but we're really feeling, kind of taking um, that away and feeling more, uh, much more just this in toward the body kind of weight. So I do that a few times and then maybe have them play. And you notice I'm getting a really nice full sound even though I'm not really working at it because I'm just simply setting my hand here and especially when I'm low in the bow. I'm not doing any work, I'm simply using my body weight. So. That is uh, the first thing. Now, the second thing <laughs> might even be weirder or funnier. Um, I like to have my students uh, sit, uh, I'll turn this way. Sit forward on the chair, lean back. Any excuse to, to have terrible posture, right? Um, I kind of hook the scroll around my neck, but you're welcome again to sort of loosely hold your cello. Um, my knees are together, my feet are on the ground. And this time I'm, I'm really sort of feeling that downward pressure. So remember I said the, the natural uh, way that the arm falls is down and towards you. So we isolated the towards you. Now we're sort of isolating the down I imagine this is a little more like what a violinist feels like. 
different dimensions for sure. And then um, I try uh, playing like this. <laughs> Again, I'm just focused on this, this kind of weight like this. Actually, you could even bow, bow like this. This is another one of my tricks. But um, so anyway, this uh, kind of takes a, takes out that uh, that uh, aspect of coming in towards the body. Now, um, you can try that and then just try it. Um, try playing normally and see if you can sustain any of that feeling. Another thing I'll do is have a student start this way and then switch. It kind of helps them maintain and you can also do it this way from standing to sitting. actually different but it sounded different to me when I approached it um, this way versus this way so I'll be curious to know if any of you hear that on the video or hear it when you try this um, yourselves so give these things a try and as always I invite you to you know let me know if there's anything you observed or discovered or um, something that I didn't mention that you observe or discover and I hope to be um, back to more regular um, re video releases uh, in the uh, now and in the future.